Do you ever look out your home or office window and see a big, beautiful bird, but don't know what it is? And then you try to look it up in a book or online, but get even more confused because all hawks look the same? Well, the Raptor Center is here to help. Today we will talk about one of the most common questions we get through email, voicemail, and out on our trail. What type of hawk is this? The first things we will ask are what is the bird's size and how big are the wings? If it is a big bodied bird with no feathers on its head and has a huge wingspan, then it's not a hawk at all. It's a vulture. It's actually pretty common for people to confuse hawks with vultures, especially if you only catch a glance or take a picture from far away. The two species of vultures we have in North Carolina are turkey vultures and black vultures. Turkey vultures have red heads and a silver coloration that lines the bottom of their wings. Black vultures have black heads and just the tips of their longest flight feathers are colored silver. Okay, back to hawks. Red-tailed hawks are one of the most common types of hawks that people see out in the wild. As their name suggests, they have a beautiful brick red tail that sets them apart from other species. If you can't see the tail, or if it's a first year bird with all brown tail feathers, look for a speckled belly band that runs across a red tailed hawk's stomach. That belly band separates it from other hawk species. Red tailed hawks also tend to be larger than other hawks found in the Charlotte region. They have a three and a half to four and a half foot wingspan that are great for soaring. Their wings are marked with light and dark brown barring. A lot of the time, red-tailed hawks are seen soaring or perched high in trees or on utility poles along the road. Sometimes you'll see them on fence posts next to farmland. A red-tailed hawk call is also very distinctive. You may have heard it on your TV before. Most of the time, Hollywood uses the red-tailed hawk call to replace a bald eagle's call because it sounds more intimidating. The hawk that is most often confused for a red-tailed hawk is a red-shouldered hawk. Again, as their name suggests, red-shouldered hawks have red feathers on their shoulders, but sometimes those are hard to spot. If you get a good look at their tail, it will be striped with black and white bars which is drastically different than the solid red tail on the red-tailed hawk. Their chest also looks different than a red-tailed hawk. Instead of having a speckled belly band, the red-shouldered hawks have thin reddish-brown bars that span their front. And red-shouldered hawks tend to be smaller than the red-tailed hawk with a wingspan of only three to three and a half feet. Their wings are checkered with a white and black design. These hawks are mostly found in a forested habitat with lots of trees to perch on. Their call is commonly heard during mating season as they claim territories and communicate with their mates. If the mystery hawk is on the smaller end, it could be a cooper's hawk or a sharp-shinned hawk. Cooper's hawks and sharp-shinned hawks look extremely similar. They both have a longer tail compared to the red-shouldered and red-tailed hawk and their tails have light and dark gray stripes. Coopers and sharp-shinned hawks both have thin, light red and white stripes that go down their chest. They also have a distinctive black cap on their heads. And they both have gray wing feathers. See what we mean about looking similar? The best way to tell the difference between a Cooper's hawk and a sharp-shinned hawk is by its size. Sharp-shinned hawks are significantly smaller than Cooper's hawks. Sharp-shinned hawks stand between 9 and 12 inches with a wingspan of 1.5 to 2 feet, while a Cooper's hawk is about 14 to 17 inches tall with a 2 to 3 foot wingspan. They both like to hunt in forested areas and are often seen hunting at people's bird feeders. Because of their small size, they mostly hunt songbirds. Remember, if you feed the birds, you feed all the birds. Cooper's hawks make a low chirping noise as their call, and sharp-shinned hawks make a higher-pitched chirping sound. 
So which hawk do you have living in your backyard? Did this video help you identify it? If you are still unsure, you can visit allaboutbirds.org to help you identify your resident hawk. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Avian Adventures.